Hey everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite turtles. Today we're going to be going over my Reeves turtles. It's one of the members of the genus Marmies. And I think I'm saying that right. Um, I'm probably not saying that right, but that's okay, Marmies. I've got a male and female in here, and their names are Mr. and Mrs. Reeves. I know, I'm very original. <laughs> they are still yearlings, but they are going to stay quite small. They're going to stay about six to eight inches. Of all my turtles, these guys are like my little dinosaurs. These guys originate from Central and Eastern China, North and South Korea, that area. They prefer slow-moving waters. And this is why I'm using a very soft waterfall as a filtration. So I got a nice slow filtration over here. Eventually, when they get larger, I'm going to be turning on this um, matten filter, Hamburg matten filter. That way I'll have two different sets of filtration. So let's talk about their enclosure a little bit. This is a 20 long and they are so much fun to watch. Let me tell you, uh, I got some plants in the bottom and and the gravel and they go underneath the gravel and they'll pop their head up so they like to dig under and hide under things and and any plants in here if they nibble on them it's fair game it's for them we could just call it a salad the temperature is between 74 and 78 so it's pretty good in the fish room but i do have a heater in there just in case just in case but there's no no, no need as long as they're in here they do use uvb and basking I have it turned off so I can film, but the basking area is over here and they do like to bask. So what I've been doing is as I do water changes and I clean it out, I always add just a little bit more water and keep building up the tank that way. And so far I've never seen any issues with them swimming or getting to the top or getting to their basking station. They're not like my other turtles. I can take a soft toothbrush and, and brush in little tiny circles around their shell. They're not very pleased with that. So I try not to do that because I don't need to stress them out and it's not necessary. So yeah, in the summer they're going to go outside on my porch in a summer tub. But I'm not going to put them out off my porch because I've got some teenage predators I do not trust. And on my porch I'll be able to cover them with the, where's the light diffuser? I have light diffuser, the black egg crate. I'll put that right on the top. Their permanent home is going to be a 40 breeder. But I'm still building my downstairs fish room. So they'll eat just about anything. So I try to make sure, especially with commercial foods, it's like between um, 30 and 40% protein. I like to use the bug bites, um, Zoomed hatchling formula, sun-dried red shrimp. I, they also eat a lot of greenery. So these are just some of the foods that I use. I also use the live foods, the crickets and the, the mealworms. They'll eat just about anything. So that makes them very easy. The carapace is their top shell and it's got three long keels on them. They look like little um, wrinkles, like if you ironed pleats and they'll, they'll fade away over time. As you can see, they're like one of the perfect, most perfect turtles for me or somebody in captivity because they stay relatively small. They like slow moving waters. They'll eat just about anything. They got a personality that, that'll knock your socks off. Okay, well, a personality that knocks my socks off. How's that? I love these guys. So the male has a concave plastron and the female has more of a flat plastron. And the plastron is the underneath shell. The carapace is the top part of the shell. And obviously the reason why it'd be concave is because they got to mount the female. And if it was flat, there'd be no other turtles in the world. Mm -hmm. And I can't explain more because my nephews are watching. So that is one of the main reasons. I just wanted to show you my little 20 gallon long with my Mr. and Mrs. Reeves turtle in them because I just think they're absolutely adorable. So if you're interested in these kind of videos, check out my playlist. I would really love that. I'm so glad you guys came to watch. Thank you. I will see you next time.